smoking sign has been turned off. We'd like to remind you that row 5 in the forward cabin, N27 through 33 in the main cabin, are designated smoking rows. Cigar 5 smoking is not permitted on board. Air smoking in the house and laboratories is also prohibited. As always, we're pleased to welcome aboard our Advantage passengers. Today, the Advantage program provides travel awards ranging from first class upgrades to free trips to exciting destinations in Hawaii, Europe, Australia, the Orient, Africa, and Mexico. Advantage members can earn mileage credit for flights on American Airlines, American Eagle, KL, and Royal Dutch Airlines, part of Singapore, and British Airways. If you're not an Advantage member and are interested in joining, applications are available from a flight attendant, the American Way Magazine, or any American Airlines or American Eagle ticket counter. Along with the American Way Magazine, your seat back pocket is a great new gift catalog. We'd like to invite you to sit back, relax, and take advantage of the shopping convenience.
final preparation for a landing, the no smoking sign has been turned on. We'd like to ask that you extinguish all cigarettes, bring your seat back to the tray tables to the full upright and locked position. Also, if you have taken out any carry-on items, please replace them back into the seat in front of you or in your bed compartment. We'll be on the ground in Chicago shortly. Thank you. Welcome you to Chicago's O'Hare Airport, ladies and gentlemen. Please remain seated with your seatbelts fastened until we are safely parked at the gate and the fastened seatbelt sign has been turned off.
Go ahead. Play something, Sam. Come on, play something. All right. Watch, honey. Honey, you're right away. I brought at least eight kids with me, Art. Save your battery. Yeah. I brought four it. batteries. And oh, it's seven times over. What did I tell you? God, he doesn't wait. Guys <laughs> are getting on my knives. You can right. see the white building with the work truck Canada. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'll do it. What a Two watch. towers there and there. It's the same hotel. With a big, oh, they call yeah. an island paradise in between. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'm not the, the casino is in between. I'm not trying right? to get fresher. Uh, Casino's stores. actually in the in the lobby of the hotels, off the lobby. Uh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, you'll love it. Yeah. Zoom in time. I'm doing it. I've seen enough of your tapes to get the idea how it's done. Drive care. Park and go anybody. Vegas. Tonight at nine. <laughs> Sex carefully. What does that say? Drive them home carefully. Come on. That's the, the green sign. lights. Right. Yeah. That's what you want to drive carefully. You come back. No. no, this he is. He wants the, the other side this of it. This is the other side. This is the uh, exit side. Okay. With okay. Got oh. that one. Got it. What's the other side? The animation is That's the side. It's a big long zoom in and full frame. The reminder was brought to you by Fairway Chevrolet and AM Stereo 1460. Yeah, you just pan down the strip. Yeah. Yeah, because you're down the street. Wow, man! Look at all the lights! Drive. Do, do me a record with Carl. Lucy, I'm home! Lucy, I'm hey, West Flatten Ethel! Lucy! <laughs> Lucy, we're in Las Vegas. Lucy, Las Vegas, Lucy, look at all these lights, Lucy. Oh, Fred Nata would love this. Hi, Lucy, hi, caramba. I got to play at the Tropicana, Lucy. This is Casey Gason, live from Los Angeles. Speaking to you from Las Vegas. You got that radio down with you? Los Angeles. A writer called in to ask me. <laughs> All right, a little bit of historical uh, perspective. You're going to get it. Or is this hysterical always on. You're the one that's always turning the radio on. Don't that's give me this. Off. Bugsy Siegel started this town for the boys after Cuba closed as being a viable place to bring people to. Is that true? Yes. And Bugsy Siegel and the boys started the town, owned about four or five hotels. Walter Kane came in as one of the original... Uh, guys to clean up the act and in those days you could eat for free you could stay in a room for free as long as you were paying and gambling even giving them the action they didn't care then you could stay and, and live here for free ostensibly as far as meals and room and all the free service and that kind of stuff comped into all the shows your wife could go shopping and all that stuff however when the boys as it said uh, started to lose their grip here and the corporate America came in and took over Walter Kane wanted to be part of the crew that remained and he kind of turned on his earlier attitude about the place and joined the new way of thinking which was that every department in a hotel and casino had to turn a profit unto itself which meant the food had to be at cost or slightly above cost the entertainment had to turn a profit and of course the casinos turned a profit the rooms had to turn a profit everything did and the only thing that's still a write-off in this town is that the entertainment occasionally does not the seats don't pay the performer there's the Aladdin. Pleasant memories of our first year, seven years ago. How much of the strip do you want? Keep going. What a guy. Who owns the jingle? Credentials for Mr. Randy West. Well, I have a couple extra. Uh, Press pass uh, envelopes, plastic oh, yeah. envelopes from the, the show in Chicago. Which is the prettiest casino? Uh, possibly Caesars. Caesars. The MGM Grand, which is now Bally's. 
I hear, uh, Claude, my friend Claude tells me that the MGM is the best hotel in town. Well, it's not in Miami. Well, now it's the Bally's. I stayed there when it was MGM, and it was damn nice. It was damn nice to stay at. Can you get part of that uh, thing in the front, too? Sure. They're real tender. We should be getting all this. Look at this yeah. again. Yeah. It just cleared up. Right it cleared up in LA. It was a beautiful day. Was it? Great. Let's see if we can see one. It was eight during the day today in New York, and they're expecting a full in the next two days. You're kidding, Stu. <laughs> Barbary Coast. Come on down. Yeah, any, any lights, you know. It's nice when you watch Crime Story or something, you see all the stuff to shoot yourself say, I was there. It's different. The traffic's like this, by the way, 24 hours We say that it's like a one year, very, very, very nice hotel. Oh, you've never seen so many lights. No, this is Vegas. This is Vegas. This is Vegas. Look at this. There's the shot. Yeah. Yeah. What? Isn't that pretty? What a zoo. Isn't that look at that. That is very pretty. 24 hour city. The only real one there. This guy is. God damn, look at this shit. This one here. Got that? All the gold? That, that's the one I really want. Where, where's the start? Did we pass it? No, it's further no. down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. The MGM Grand has a different kind. It looks like you were in an Italian museum or something. Really? You know, I haven't been in a museum. Well, now the bell is again. What's my taste in town? I'm not going to see. The start list is farther down? Yeah. See the side? The left? The four that Howard Hughes owned included the frontier and across the, the street, the Desert Inn. He stayed in the Desert Inn, eighth floor, I think it was, uh, to, it until his death. Top floor? He lived there until he, almost until he died? Yeah, until he died. just short of it, and they took him in a, in a, finally, in a helicopter to try to get him medical help, and I think he died en route, supposedly. But the four bedposts, you'll love this, the four bedposts of his bed, he was so afraid of earthquakes that the bedposts were actually anchored to the main uh, structure. structure of the building. Make sure you give it a start us the outside. Mm -hmm. it's all good. Where do they get Where do I turn? Where, here? Here? Yeah, where it says enter. See that white sign that says enter? Did you get a special I can't turn in there. Why not? There's an island here. There's no way I can turn in there. Pull it up, up, up here and make a left. Come on. Or you can go to the other end, but it doesn't really matter. Feel more around. Well, I tell you, I always really good. like to have the uh, fluorescent light business. <laughs> what a concession! Yeah. Look at the McDonald's yeah. over there. McDonald's. God damn. <laughs> McDonald's. Oh yeah. Started just remodeled last year. Is there still more to go yet? Yes. It's only about halfway through. It. You're kidding? The Convention wow. Center's right down. They see what a landmark is down there. The Convention Center's right behind that. You can see it where it says Consumer Electronics Show in big yellow letters with that good eyeballs. That's what you show us. All the way. This is my seventh show. Seventh show. Yeah, it's a very show. And how many consumer electronic shows have been in there? Somehow, it doesn't seem fair that the general Las Vegas resident isn't allowed into the city's biggest convention, the one with all those tricky electronic gadgets on the cutting edge of gimmicky consumerism. But in keeping with the news three tradition, we've invited Dr. Frank Vigiano of the Indiana University of Pennsylvania to once again come in and show off the newest, trendiest trinket, something he does just about every year for us while visiting the CES. Welcome again. Nice Good to, to see, see you. Both. Yeah. Nice to see you both and, again. Uh, what's the latest tonight? Well, we've got year. some... A lot of new devices. I'll begin with uh, the first talking car alarm that's made by Vocal Alarm out of California. Okay. And basically what this unit does is you program it to do several things. But let's say, for example, you park your car at the airport, leave for three or four days. You have a violation. Whenever you come back and you open your door to the car, it'll auto... Violation 16 minutes ago. It said trunk violation 16 minutes ago. So what it does, it documents when a violation has occurred. By simply pressing the little pad, you can arm it or you can disarm it. 
car. Yeah, it's installed in your car. Yeah, so it's installed in the car. $650. I'm going to automatically just hold the button down just to get it into it. <laughs> but that's basically that's basically what it does. It, it's a first talking car alarm that apprises you of that situation. Sticking along with talking devices, I'm just going to move this okay. off the set for a second. Nike has brought out something called a speed strap. And I've got everything here on a board to give you some idea of what it looks like. Okay. And primarily what you do is you place this device around your waist. And there's a small unit here that actually goes on your heart. So it monitors your heart. And there's a pair of headphones that go into your ears. By simply, this will give you a little bit of an idea of what it does. But gives you the speed, tells you your heart rate, tells you how far you've gone, how fast you've gone, etc. So while you're it's selling for two hundred and forty nine dollars, called the speed strap What's by the Nike. The smell that I'm getting here, though, there's a, there's a bakery. Yeah, smell. there is a bakery. Actually, this is the the bread bakery by Panasonic. It's the first complete bakery. What what you do is you open it up. You have tools inside that measure out the ingredients: flour, water, sugar, milk, etc. Go right inside. A little device which I'll bring up in a moment. You close it, you put your yeast in the top. This is a yeast dispenser. Turn the unit on. It begins to mix the ingredients. No kneading at no, all? It needs by itself. It mixes, it needs, it dumps the yeast into the into the unit, and four hours later, a little tone is heard and you pull out a loaf of bread. That is wild. Great. How much does Three hundred twenty-nine dollars, one pound. Wow, that's a big loaf of bread. Oh, it's great too. We're gonna let you eat it after the show. Okay. <laughs> we'll take you up on that. Three hundred twenty-nine dollars complete. Not bad. Right. Moving along with that. There are a couple of things. Memorex is, the, I'm going to put this up here so everybody can see it. It looks like a cassette tape, but basically what it is, it's the first speaker unit for Walkmans that looks like and is the size of a tape. So you can store it inside your Walkman, but then you take the little jack, you plug it into the headphone, and now this becomes an outboard speaker that you can listen to at the office. Handy. That is great. Right and it speaker. looks just like a cassette tape. You exactly. can just put it right on top of it. Very, very small. Stay in there, yeah. Also, too, along with that, along with technology, I think most of the times, you know, everyone wants to wire their house for video. And the problem is you just can't come up with all the tools necessary, right. coaxial cables and tools. This is something very, very new. It's called Invisilink. And it's a product that was brought out by this company. And you can see it looks like a roll mm -hmm. of tape. Yep. Basically what it is, it's coaxial cable. You put it along the baseboard, you can wire up so as easier. many rooms as you want with video. Yeah, that's yeah, great. It's going to sell for about, you won't trip over the about wires. $2 dollars and so a roll. Exactly. No exactly. wire. And you can curl it and cut it and so forth all along. Moving along with that, too, as we move over here a little bit, you'll notice that I've got some telephones. Various types well, of phones. They don't look like phones. They don't look like phones, right. <laughs> this first telephone is Bozo the Clown, and by ringing Bozo... <laughs> I'd like to have that ring in your living room. <laughs> Get a little idea what he does. Phones have become a lot of fun. They've become sure. a statement, you know, personality statement. Someone that might be a hunter that would really enjoy hunting, perhaps, you might want to give them a duck phone. This is the first time that the bill actually moved that's a little the, That's the later. ringer, huh? Right. And these products are introduced and developed by Telmany out of New York. Aren't they interesting? Oh, okay. And the telephone's right inside. Of the wood too, yeah. As far as Bozo, as a phone, the back of his head the is back the of his head, earpiece, okay. the bottom's the mouthpiece, and you just simply hang him up like that, and that's basically the hook switch. What? Moving along with all of that, too, you'll notice there are some sporting mm -hmm. devices that we have here with Scott with Love Balls. Basketball. Basically, all they are, they're alarm clocks. Uh, you'll notice that we've got a football here. You set the time, and you leave this on the nightstand. Whenever the alarm goes off, you just pick it up and... And the impact turns the, the, impact the alarm turns off. off. Right. They're made by off-the-wall products. It's My husband would love that one <laughs> the right football. there. Well, yes. they make it a basketball, and golf, and the golf ball, too. Yes. And soccer, football, and next year hockey bucks, from what I understand. Just in general, are you seeing things really go sky high this year? Or is it just like any other year where you see a few new things? You, you see a lot of new things. The interesting thing about the industry, which I love about this industry, is that constantly you don't think they're ever going to come out with something that's going to kind of blow your mind or impress you. And every year the industry never fails to come up with something new and interesting and a lot of fun. Dr. Okay. Frank Vigiano, thank you.
new status. Okay.
Los Angeles anymore. He's now in Las Vegas on Friday night, January 8th at uh, 7.41 p.m. as the CES continues. Thank you very much, Stu. Yes, we are in Las Vegas. I didn't to shoot anything in Los Angeles. Uh, there were things to take pictures of, but I was too lazy to haul out the camera. But one thing that I've never gotten on tape is downtown Los Angeles. Uh, downtown Las Vegas. I haven't gotten downtown LA on tape either. But who wants to see that? They roll up the sidewalks at 5 o'clock in that city. But in this city, they're just unwrapping them at 5 o'clock. It's nighttime, and we're in downtown Vegas. And to give you a little tour, my dear friend and close compadre, Randy West. How do you follow Stu Hoo Hoo and Art Volo? Probably with a shovel. We've been shoveling in the information about consumer electronics at the CES show, but I'll show you where I've been shoveling some other stuff. I've been shoveling some cash in your trip to Las Vegas, Nevada! Your showcase begins with a beautiful tour of the Great White Way. Broadway has nothing on you as we continue up and down the strip looking for the big dollars, hard, cold cash, 7 come 11 world bet, high flying money. It's right here. Watch the Tunerville trolley as the city of Las Vegas brings you its finest. Yo, coming out, new shooter, new shooter. Let's show you the action further up the strip. Beautiful free model of art in Las Vegas. In the background, you hear the sirens from many tourists whose cameras have been stolen while flashing them on the strip. 
never bring in expensive clothing or expensive video gear onto the strip. Man down with fight crew with chains and knives. Rivera with confrontational journalism. An actual buy is going down. A buy is going down. Call Don Johnson. In your new ambulance! Do you know how many airline flights this woman must have taken to collect all of these little bottles? How many? Five thousand flights. Him away. All right, clear us out. Did you see that? Did you happen to see that? I uh, I was disturbed by that. All right, bring him out. Bring him out. All right, bring that. Bring that. Bring it down here. He's over here. All right, up against the car. I didn't do up against the car. I didn't do it. You know what I'm I didn't do it. <laughs> Your showcase begins with a buffet breakfast. Champagne that's been aged in the socks of old dealers. $1.99. Should you make it for lunch, $2.75. And there's a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Another buffet winner. A dinner winner, a dinner winner, a double dollar holler. Here it comes, dinner free on the house from the Sundance. Oh, it's the Four Queens Hotel. Big Texan is waving to say, welcome to Aunt Wallo. Sleepy, you will reach into your wallet and give them all of your money. You hear only the sound of my voice. Give your money to the city. Give your money to the city. All right, in Las Vegas, there's Kino. Roulette. Slots. And cracks. Of three draw. They're everywhere. Look at this. They're everywhere. Thank you. <laughs> Pioneer is not for Pioneer chicken. Don't worry about it. Humanity from around the world and every point in the universe. They converge here at the city of white light. Smoking is supposedly hazardous to your health. That guy's been up there for a good 40 years I've heard about. of Las Vegas, come on now! I left the lights on in the room. Get him while they have the hot slot spot, the hot slot spot. Come on in, drop him in. Let's go. Come on in, drop him in. Here you go. Can't play if you don't win. Can't win if you don't play. Come on and play. Let's play the game now. Ready up now. Ready up now. Here we are. Las Vegas. Come on. New shooter. New shooter coming out. Yo, Levin. Yo, Levin. Yo, Levin. Here we go. All right. New shooter. New shooter. 
No soda. I can't believe it. All those lights and all that money. Where's mine? You can eat cheap in Vegas. Colossal shrimp and crab cocktail. Happy, the sounds are happy, the lights are happy, and Stu's unhappy. <laughs> Penny for your thoughts. <laughs> Buck for your, uh, well, whatever. Come on, we do a demonstration. Demonstration, here we are. I'm an average civilian. What do average I have to do? Average civilian, pull handle. Pull handle, I think I can handle that. <laughs> a guaranteed winner, here it comes. Ten, 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 ten. Yes, ten. Ray, he I won. Win you won a ten dollar cash pack, sir, and a chance Generic plane wrapped sex movie. It's unbelievable. Jerry Generic does uh, an off price retailer. It's exciting. Two ninety nine a buffet of sex. All, All you, you can, can eat. eat. All Beverages included. included. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the no, 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 you absolutely are really good at this no, kind no, of stuff. No, I, I really think you should do it. I, I, well, well, I, I, I mean, well, you know, I'm not well. good at X-rated clothes. Art Polo Live from Las Vegas has been sponsored by the American Association of National Broad Chasers. They're the band, the book in Anaheim, band the film in, uh, well, that's it. You're just like us under yeah, the porno know, thing it, here. Right the police right, are going to come by. Right. We're going to be in trouble. You're not going to frisk me. They're going to frisk you. Segments of this program have brought to you by Quirios, the breakfast cereal of chimpanzees. Yes, Quirios, you have to eat them before where they eat you. Ow, ow, ow! Is that sexual? I think that's sexual enough. Oh boy, All that's right. enough. Bye!